Nico Sawa. Hmm? <clears throat> so how are you guys? I hope you are doing well. Thank you again and welcome back to my channel. I know I have been giving you a lot of advice with regard to the Uber business and the, or the whole of the online taxi business. And here I am going to give you a few tips that uh, are very critical for you if you intend to invest in the Uber business come 2023. These are just a few highlights that I have had to learn during the past one year. And I want to share these ideas with you so that you know you don't have to make the mistake that other investors in the business made. You can learn from uh, our experiences and then you move forward as a successful person come 2023. So the first point that I'm going to share with you here, and this is according to my experience and my view, is that uh, when you buy that car, please get a driver from the village or get a driver who is not very, very experienced in the, in the taxi industry to operate your car. You know, the Uber and the online, the whole of online taxi business, including Bolt and Info Cab in Kenya, is a new thing since 2016. Most of the drivers who have a lot of experience, you know, they were not very happy with the uh, arrival of the digital taxi uh, system because they used to be paid, let's say, 3,000 shillings per trip. And when Uber came, that shifted a lot. They lost a lot of income because they are paid right now like 150 shillings per trip or sometimes less. And, you know, that has caused a lot of dissatisfaction with the experienced drivers. So get a driver from the village, teach them how to operate the cabs within the city and within a very short time they will learn and they will appreciate it as a job. With the challenges that they face, at least they get to appreciate. So that is point number one. Point number two, get the smallest car possible. I advise people to buy a 650cc car. Why? Because when you employ a driver, you are able to ask them more money per day or per week if that is your payment agreement. When you buy a car that is over 1,000 cc, that driver at the best, they will only give you six to 8,000 per week. While a driver who operates a 650 cc car will be able to give you uh, from 9,000 to 11,000, depending on your, you know, on your terms and the conditions of your car. So I always advise people to go for for a Suzuki Alto, to go for a Sumira, to go for a Mazda Caro, or you know, all those 650cc cars that you can get from the market. Avoid as much as you can uh, to put a uh, Nissan Note, Nissan March, uh, you know, Toyota Vids, uh, Demio, uh, and then uh, Fit, all those, uh, you know, 1200cc cars into Uber because your driver will never stop complaining about the increasing cost of fuel and they will always try to cut corners to give you, to make their ends meet. What I tell people is that you don't have to pay for the comfort. The comfort that the customer will find in, uh, in uh, Nissan March, they will find in Honda Fit. You don't have to pay that comfort, you know, from your own pocket. Buy a small car that will deliver the customer to the destination, slightly a bit comfortable, but at a very good conditions, and then you make your cut. Point number three. You know, I want to assume that you will buy a new car from the yard, not a new car, but you know, a new car from Japan from the yard at around 800,000 right now or 700,000, meaning that you, are dry, you will take at least two years to pay that car back. And then for you to make proper margins and proper money from that car, you have to operate it for at least five years. So you have to get a very good driver who will ensure that that car will be operational for the next five years for you to make proper margins. The Uber business is not a, you know, a, a, a plan to make money quickly. You will take two years to pay yourself back and then three years for you to make you know, extra profit. So given the hard work that this car does every day from 8 to 5 p.m. it is on the road, making at least 5,000 kilometers per month, you know, and that car you wanted to do five years, you have to have an extremely good driver and make sure you service it as it requires. Okay? Number four. We have talked so much about your car being operated by another driver, but I 
also give advice to people who can afford to have their own car. Even if you have a, a private car that you use for your private travels with your family, you can also have a small car like a 650cc that maybe it's being operated by your wife or yourself. You can use it as your side hustle. Driving Uber on part-time basis can give you a very clean, you know, side hustle. Depending on the number of hours you operate, let's say after four or after five, whenever you close job, you can drive for one or two hours. Or during the weekend when you are free, when you take those your annual leave days, like you are free for the whole week, Uber is a very clean and good side hustle. Depending on the number of hours you operate, it can give you from 1K to 5,000 per day. And that is, you can never borrow anyone money when you are an Uber driver uh, on part-time basis. It's a very good uh, side hustle and I advise as many people as can to join it. The last one, uh, you know, Uber is like gambling. There are very good days, there are bad days. So always pray before you leave the house. Pray for your driver. If you have many drivers or one, just say a word to pray so that they can leave the house with good luck. So that they can get trips towards nice destination, towards busy destination, where they just drop and pick. So that they don't uh, drive towards villages where they'll have to burn fuel coming back to get another ride. So that they can get great riders who can tip them, who can take them, you know, and give them good conversations. It, it, it takes just one bad rider to make a bad day for that driver. And maybe the mood will be so bad and it can lead to so many other things. As you can imagine, a driver with a bad mood, you know, is at risk of so many things that can happen during that day. So pray for good luck when drivers leave the house, they can have a very beautiful day. So guys, those are some of the tips I just want to inform you before you cross over to 2023. And I will make more other videos to keep you educated. And if you want anything, guys, you can drop me a comment and I'll give you my contact details for further consultation. Thank you and merry, merry, merry 2023. Very successful in the taxi business. Cheers. Daddy, are you go?